So I thought I'd go over how to make a morph or other blend shape for this head. And I've got a couple of ways of doing it. Uh, kind of like an old way, uh, which is with the max defaults. Um, and a new way um, with a special plugin called the Transmogifier, which is free and totally awesome. Uh, so it's a bit of a shout out for that plugin as well. So here's the old way. Um, so we're going to add a another edit poly modifier, which is going to be my more shape, and then on top of that we're going to have a symmetry modifier. Just going to do that. Uh, we're not going to slice on the mirror, but we are going to weld the seam. So, um, so let's just do some sort of puff shape. Uh, let's drag that out. In fact, just so we can see what's going on, let's add a turbine smooth on top. Great. So, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to show the cage. Okay, and then we can see what's going on. So, let's just start moving some of these verts around to kind of model something that feels right. So um, I've got my cheat puff, uh, which is symmetrical, and uh, I can add it to uh, my head shape. I'm going to pick an object from the scene, which is that, uh, and you can see that. Let's just turn that on. Now, when I apply that, we get this cheat puff animation. Um, now, if I want to just do one cheek at a time, then I have to somehow split this up into two separate pieces, and this is the way to do that. Um, so I've got a, an unmodified head here, and let's drag that one down and copy it. So um, what you can use, you can use the morph targets as a modeling tool. So if I pick this object from the scene here, like that, and you can see I now apply my cheek puff to it, and it pushes it out. So now I can use a volume select tool like this. And I'm just going to select vertices. And this is what happens if I drag it over. You can see that it kills the effect of my morph on that side. So now I have a morph target that only affects one side of the face. So if I uh, now clone this whole structure like that. Then I can move the volume select over the other side. Oops. Like this. Tink. So now I've got my two separate cheek puffs. So I'm going to now add them into my scene. So I'll just delete that. So I'm going to pick object from the scene, that one. Yeah, the next one, pick object from scene, that one. And now I can control my cheek puffs on either side, like this. That's the last one. And that's the left one. Right, so that was the, the old way I used to do it. There is a better way. Um, so let's just collapse all there. So I've got a uh, cheat puff R, my cheat white cheat puff. So here you can see that I'm using morph targets and volume select tools to kind of modify everything. Uh, there is this free plug plugin called it's called the Trans Modifier for 3ds Max. So here you go. It's um that.
uh, download that plugin from the site, um, give me a shout. Um, it's super cool. So if I so I've got my one side, my animation. Just add the transmogifier. This I'm going to pick um, a, a mesh that's been underformed. So let's pick that one, and you can see it vanishes. So let's flip it. So now you can see that um, my transmogifier from allows me to do to do this. So what what's cool about this is that it preserves the mesh ordering. So that's not a mirror. It's actually copying all the vertex data from one side to the other, which means that. Um, rather than using this head um, for that side, I can now use go back to my morph target. So this is cheap puff L. So rather than using this mesh, I can use this mesh. So let's delete that. Pick an object from the scene. That one, and you can see that as I dial that in, that now does the opposite side of my mesh. Um, you can also use it as a modeling tool, so let's just drag this girl over here, uh, add the trident monkey fire again, so I'm going to pick the underformed mesh and then go to edit poly off I go. So you can see that when this is all rigged up, I can now, um, oops, let's just modify that. So let's mirror this. There we go. So now you can see that a bit like the symmetry tool, I can modify both sides of the mesh at the same time, except unlike the symmetry tool, I don't get any problems um, if I try and do this. So this will allow, um, um, See, drags the vertex back to the center position and doesn't produce any weird uh, slicing errors. And I can do that quite happily, and it just takes care of everything for me. So, even though my, my mesh is slightly off axis, the transmogrifier will take care of everything for me. And you can see it puts it back, that vertex back into the center, which is just great. Uh, so, that's a really awesome tool for doing these kind of morph targets, and that which is why I no longer use this uh, sort of more from volume select technique um, though it is a cool tool and very useful for kind of um, modifying existing morphs and splitting them up uh, the transmogrifier is the perfect tool for mirroring